Now that you're a bit more familiar with how Schedule works, I'm going to run you through some of the advanced features that we have on how you can configure your account so it works perfectly well for you. Up at the top, you'll see that we have a few options. I'm on the Account option. This is where, if you're an administrator, you can update your billing information or change your plan at any time if you want to upgrade or downgrade. Um, you can also change the name of your company, the look and feel of schedule. You can also include the weekend if you uh, are a company that actually has to work over the weekend. Sorry to hear that, but um, some of you do. Um, and your time zone, so the emails come at an appropriate time for you. In addition to that, we have several email features. We have a full daily email that goes by default to all administrators. You can turn that off or leave that going. In addition, we have weekly uh, emails which go to the entire team by default. Again, if you want to, you can turn those off or just have them going to administrators. This is an example uh, from our own company which shows you exactly what this will look like. Um, as you can see, we have all of our staff here. Um, they're actually laid out by role, which is something I'll tell you about in a minute. Uh, and uh, just has all of the different projects they'll be working on and uh, grays out any areas where there may be a bank holiday or if they've been unscheduled or if they're on holiday. I'll also show you another example of an email. This is the email that gets sent to resources each day. It's just a very simple email that just tells them what they're working on uh, and if any notes have been added they're also included here. Um, it also tells the resource who their manager is, the person responsible for the project, and also sees in uh, both managers here if there are two managers for the morning or afternoon or just one if there's only one manager for the day. Um, this is good because it's sent the day before uh, and it means that if there are any mistakes or people have questions or anything like that they can ask them straight away. Roles are an optional feature that allow you to group members of your team to make scheduling easier. I'll create a couple for our own company. So we have designers. We also have developers. And we have project managers. Now, our project managers are not actually resourced, they do the resourcing, but it's still important that we include them in schedule so that they can be included on emails. However, by taking this role out of the resource schedule, they won't feature. As you can see, we already have a few projects lined up from our onboarding process. From here, we can create more projects if we want to, but there's some other features I'd like to bring to your attention. If we just edit the BBC here, you'll notice from this drop down that we can add a project manager. This is really important because when a resource is attributed to the BBC project, the project manager is also CC'd on any emails and therefore is aware of anything that's going on. A couple of other things we can do are force the project to a top of the drop down list in the resourcing schedule if it's a major project we use frequently. Say whether the project is active or not and therefore again where it features in the drop down menu and remove the project completely from schedule. Finally, we can add and edit users. If you see on the list on the left, here are all the users from our onboarding process. If we click on one of them, you can make all the changes you would expect from name, email address and password, but with a couple of extra options. If you have made some roles in schedule, you can apply them here. And you can also state the user's permissions. By default, everyone on schedule is an editor. That means they can make changes to the schedule and also to their own account. Administrators can make changes to everything and everyone and also upgrade and downgrade the account. View only is more limited and you can only really view the schedule and receive emails from schedule without making any changes aside to your own login account. The final option is whether the user is active or not. Now that we have applied some of the more advanced features of schedule, let's look at how that has affected the app. As you can see over here, our resources have been allocated roles. So we have designers, Bjorn, and developers, me, Unamut. Previously, we also had Rachel, but as she's been assigned a project manager, a role that isn't scheduled, she no longer features here. However, the projects that we have attributed to her, she will be CC'd on when any emails are delivered. She will also receive weekly updates as to what the schedule for next week is looking like and will generally be kept in the loop.